Royal Pines is the new venue of the Australian PGA Championship and I'm pleased to be joined by a two-time winner of this tournament, plus proud Gold Coast local Wayne Grady. Grades, uh, a move of the tournament away from Coolum here to the Gold Coast. How do you think Royal Pines will stack up this week? Uh, it would be fantastic. I've, uh, there's a buzz around here that I haven't seen for a long time. I was speaking to the staff earlier and they've seen many events here at Royal Pines and they're really impressed with what's been going on. Uh, we've got Adam Scott back and that's... Uh, one of the big reasons. I was going to say that the green jacket on home soil for the first time, just how electric is that? Yeah, well, most, well, 99% of these people are, will never have been to Augusta and they've uh, never witnessed or seen the, the green jacket. So uh, Scotty's going to have it out, sign a few autographs in it. So it, it will be fantastic. Big, big week we'll build as uh, the big four was Adam Scott, Brant Snedeker, Mark Leisham with the fist pump moment and Ricky Fowler. We know Brant Snedeker's now out with a knee injury suffered in China, which is a big blow. But the other three, are they going to battle it out? Uh, absolutely. I mean, their forms. Uh, Fowler's had mixed form all year, but he's a fantastic and exciting young player. Leash is, uh, I'm waiting for him to come out and to win something uh, quite large. And Scotty, well, Scotty's number two in the world. If he plays to his potential, then he, he should, uh, he'll be hard to beat. I want to ask that question. He's won both the Australian Open and the Australian Masters. He won that last year. The one tournament he hasn't won is the Australian PGA. Does that end on Sunday? Uh, more than likely. But the thing about, the only thing I see with Scotty is I, I would have liked to have him to have done a lot of media last week while he was home and get most of the hype out of the way. And then this week, it'd still be a lot of uh, attention. But... The, the initial media hype would have been out of the way and then concentrate solely on golf. But having said that, uh, when you're number two in the world, you can put some of those things aside. <laughs> I asked Adam last week when he first came back, we're going to see Australia's first ever 59 around Royal Pines. There was plenty of talk that he'd play soft, but that doesn't seem to be the case. What's your opinion? Well, we've got it firm, which we need, because uh, if it gets wet, if we get some rain, then the guys are going to tear it up because it's not a difficult course by any means. Uh, but as long as the fairways are firm and the ball rolls into the rough and the greens are a little bit firm, so it's harder to keep the ball on the green, that'll protect it. But if we get rain, there's, not, there's only a slight chance of rain predicted through the week. If we get any heavy rain, then they will, the scores will go down. Big, flat greens. Does this become a putting competition? No, well, it, surprisingly enough, they're big and they're flat and they're difficult to read because you actually tend to read more break in them than what there is. And uh, I was here for the Touring Pro for... 11 years and I've been here for, since it first opened and I still can't putt the greens properly. So they're, they're quite difficult to read. Right, so does that mean it's not necessarily favour the, the great putters, favour a good ball striker, someone who's going to have a good tee to green week? Well, it, it will, but if, the so, if they're soft, then everyone plays darts. So then you're going to have, you know, if you're going to have a, a multitude of 10 to 15 foot putts, you're going to make quite a few of those. But if it's firm, it's going to be harder to get the ball nearer the hole. And firm golf courses is always about the guy that hits it, can control where he lands the ball better. There aren't too many of Australia's top players here outside of Adam Scott, Mark Leishman and a handful of others. Peter Senior's just come back from a great result on the Champions Tour. Does it feel a little bit less than a normal PGA Championship because of that, or does Scotty's presence change everything? I don't think anyone's noticed. Uh, it's a shame that they're not here, and they're here for uh, different reasons. The uh, 2014 US Tour season has already started, which is the first time that's happened. Uh, and they've got other tournaments around the world that they're playing, and in Japan, there's some big ones in Japan. So we've always had that sort of problem, but uh, I think Scotty will make up for it all. So on Sunday night, I know you like to have a little bit of a better. We're going to have some money on Scotty. We're going to go for a bit of a roughie. Well, you'd be mad if you don't. I don't think you'll get the same uh, odds as Fiorento yesterday, <laughs> but uh, I think uh, Scotty's favourite would be very short priced. Well, if you got up on Fiorento yesterday, go all up into Adam Scott this week at the Australian PGA. It's set to be a great week here at Royal Pines. Make sure you tune into Network 10 for all the action.